Well, hey guys, everything new in the sun. Today, we're gonna switch up the light bulbs here. These are LEDs that I've got running over 120 volts. I'm gonna put some 12 volt um, light bulbs in there. And I think it's a really cool conversion. So let's have a look and see what the light bulb is. So these are bulbs I got off uh, eBay. I think they're about $3 a piece and they're E27 socket style bulbs. Now if I can get this out, I'll show you. There you have a 12 volt bulb. It's got the standard E27, the standard kind of an American, North American uh, socket there. I think it's also known as the Edison socket. And uh, But the, the difference about this is it's LED, but it's 12 volt, you can see. Um, 12 volt there. I'm not sure the wattage on these to be absolutely honest the uh, how many how many amps it takes at 12 volts uh, Regardless what I have going now is uh, I'm going through an inverter to uh, run my 120 volt uh, bulbs So putting 12 volt uh, bulbs in there and running the whole system on 12 volt is going to cut that out Let's go over and have a look at uh, the inverter Actually before we do that. I thought I'd take a look at um, the the different bulbs. So here we got a standard, you know this is a really dirty bulb that's been sitting in my chicken shed for a while. This is an LED that I have at 800 lumens, and it's a dimmable dimmel LED. It's from Philips. This is a really good high-quality one. I'm not even sure the wattage of this one. I'm sure it says somewhere. It's so neither here nor there, though. It's 120 volt. You can see um, that um, between these two LEDs, the socket is the same, obviously, both E E27 sockets. So these are what we're going to replace. I'm going to run. I'm going to take this clean this off I'm going to use it in my house somewhere where I have 120 volts and I can't do anything with uh, I can't change the house to 12 volts by any stretch um, that wouldn't be acceptable uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, put these 12 volts in the chicken shed let's uh, take a look at the charge controller so I've got the whole charge controller set up here I've got my Nautilus marine RV battery I've got my um, MPPT solar charge controller this is an EP solar charge controller there and it's all uh, cobwebs everywhere here is the actual uh, controller interface um, for the display. You can see the battery's at 14.7 volts and with the lights on they're currently drawing about 1.2 amps. Um, that's kind of, um, <clears throat> that's the balance because it is taking in some uh, wattage from the uh, solar panel. Um, but that being said, the uh, <clears throat> 12 volts goes from the Nautilus obviously and into my little 12 volt socket into this 120 watt inverter and then I run that basically into the lights up around and I've got that wired in, so that's 120 volt uh, uh, bulbs up there. Problem is, it's very in inefficient to switch 12 volt to AC. Um, so we're going to get rid of this hundred of this inverter, use this inverter somewhere else, and switch this whole system, bulbs, everything, wiring to 12 volts. It's going to be fairly simple. So what we're going to do is let me remove this here. There. What we're going to do then is uh, wire basically the 12 volts straight into. Um, here, so I won't be able to use this outlet anymore, but that's okay I'll wire it straight up to the the main line there and we'll have 12 volts going throughout and that'll be a much more efficient Much less uh, well not not much less necessarily, but a lot more efficient for the battery less draw overall um, I'm Trying to power that thing and all s turned on and off by this switch which basically just cuts the uh, the lead the hot wire um, Going to this wiring so it looks like a bit of a mess Gonna be fairly simple We'll take the marets off here and uh, take the inverter out of the line and we'll get uh, get this uh, going over to 12 volts so we'll see you back in a second. So what I've done here is I've basically um, took the plug off that was going into the uh, plug box here, the socket box, and I put, just put some marets around it. Now I left the 12 volt socket in line so that I could always use the inverter uh, again if I want. I, I don't have a need for it now. So what I'm going to do is get the voltmeter out, I'm going to go and uh, check the line check that the uh, center post is hot in here and we'll see if this works all right well i literally had 50 50 percent chance to actually get the polarity correct i did not the first time so we're going to go ahead and plug this in now it should be turned on uh, it should be correct i'm showing 14 volts there and look at that perfect uh, but i did forget to let me put that in so that works i did forget to take the 120 volt bulb out of here 
So we're going to take this bulb out. This is a 120 volt bulb. We can use this in the house and I'll put the other bulb in. Bulb number two. Let's see if this works. There you go. Nice bright LED light. And then we're going to go see the draw. Let's look at the draw on the meter here. See how much it's pulling. So it is now pulling. Let's see. According to this, the lights are pulling 0.7 amps. All right, here is with the light bulbs off. You can see zero amps on the bottom, 15 volts uh, the battery is charging at. Flip the light on, flip the switch, and you can see it's taking 0.7 amps. So very, very little draw. They may or may not be as bright as the 120 volt, but I think two of them in there on all the time, that should be plenty. So I don't know, that, that looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think that's really going to... Well, hey, it makes the barn safer. You get a kid who sticks his finger in some wiring. Um, they're not going to kill themselves or whatever. Uh, B, it means a lot better longevity for the battery and the solar power system. It can keep up. And C, I could probably add another light in there, and it wouldn't uh, be too big a deal because the other lights were drawing about 1.1 amps, probably um, not quite twice as much uh, draw as these. Um, which, But again, I'm going to lose some luminosity as well. So... A real quick little project for you. I just want to show you that. Went from the 120 volt to 12 volt light bulb, and that's pretty good. So for three bucks for this, you can't go wrong, and it should be bright enough to light this up at night. So a little, little uh, off-grid solar project, chicken shed um, project for you. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. It was pretty simple, and uh, I'll put the link if I can find it to these particular bulbs. They cut they came off eBay. Look for E27 socket 12 volt bulbs and uh, you'll find them. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.